we are building the double sprocket shaft assembly. For this step, you will need two 3mm spacers, two short through bore bearings, two 10 tooth number 25 sprockets, a shaft collar, a 90mm length of 5mm hex shaft, as well as a 1.5mm Allen wrench. To begin, you're going to want to take your shaft collar and your 5mm hex shaft and slide the shaft collar onto the hex shaft, making it where it is flush with the end. Using your Allen wrench, tighten the shaft collar down. Note that the shaft collar is flush with the end of your hex shaft. Next, you're going to want to take a short through bore bearing and slide that onto the hex shaft. Here it is important to note the location of the flange relative to that of the shaft collar, as this will be important during the final assembly of the channel drivetrain. Next, you want to take a 3 millimeter spacer and slide that onto the hex shaft, followed by one of the two sprockets. Next, you want to use the other sprocket, followed by the 3 millimeter spacer. Lastly, you want to take the final short through bore bearing and slide that on. It's important to note the location of this flange is the opposite of the first through bore bearing that was put on. This is important during the final assembly. That completes the double sprocket assembly. You will need two double sprocket assemblies to complete the channel drivetrain. Repeat the previous steps until you have two double sprocket shaft assemblies.